Snowflakes are admired up and close for good reason. How do they take their shapes? How do they form all the pretty patterns we see? Find out as we investigate today on Feed My Curiosity. There's a reason why making snowflakes is a popular activity enjoyed both by elementary school students and everyone else looking to beautify their Christmas trees without spending more on ornaments. It's very easy to trace a circle on white paper, cut around the trace, fold the circular paper a few times, then start making more cuts here and there. Unfold the paper and as a result is a satisfying symmetrical snowflake. Today on Feed My Curiosity, we will look at how we started to admire the shape of snowflakes and then examine the different kinds of snowflakes and how they take their shape. Before we dive into the history of snowflake gazing and how snowflakes form in the sky, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we cover a variety of topics about space, travel, sports, and food. Snowflakes are so downright pretty that we have been admiring them up close for ages. Looking back at history, the first person to have ever photographed a set of snowflakes is Wilson A. Bentley in 1925 by using a camera and a microscope. In the cold winter air, he would wait until a snowflake landed, then he would position the snowflake under the lens using a feather. After a minute and a half exposure, the snowflake would be captured. Bentley's accomplishment has taught the world that snowflakes can come in a variety of shapes. In 1951, the International Association of Cryospheric Sciences came up with 10 different categories for the shapes of snowflakes plates, stellar crystals, columns, needles, spatial dendrites, capped columns, irregular particles, groupel, ice pellets, and hail. So how does nature make their snowflakes? The process is actually pretty neat. When the air is cold enough, water droplets in the air freezes when it touches some particles in the sky, whether it's dust, pollen, etc. As the frozen air droplet falls to the ground, additional water vapor can freeze onto the core droplet, giving the flake its shape. The best part about its formation process is that it's never consistent. The shape of the snowflake is extremely dependent on the air conditions around it. So any slight change in humidity or temperature will cause water vapor to freeze in a totally different manner. There's certainly nothing fun about snowflakes anymore when they build up and result in messy, wintry road conditions. And seeing hail fall out of the sky, especially when they're large, usually means you better take cover. With that said, we can still admire a fluffy little snowflake up close. Although they're extremely small, the shape of a snowflake shows how beautiful nature can be. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button as it helps us grow. Until next time, take care and thank you for joining us on Feed My Curiosity.